G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza. Where are we and how is this happening? Well, first and foremost, we're in a program called Flipside. Flipside, if you're not aware, is an in-development, real-time puppetry slash animation and film studio program. How does this work? Well, I can see a bunch of panels and options that you can't see, which allow me to bring in props, sets like this one, cameras, lights, all sorts of amazing things, and actually film in real time by acting against myself. I can be multiple characters and keep adding to the scene and keep adding to the, the action. And just to show you how this works, I'm going to switch on my character. Bink. Hey, look at this! It's a French Jazza! <laughs> okay, so I am controlling my expression with my left trackpad. So I can be sad, I can be shocked, I can be angry! I can be happy. It's pretty amazing. And obviously he's following my arms and motion in general. I can do this with my hands. Honk honk! Ah, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is pretty amazing, as you can see. And not just amazing because I can animate and puppeteer in real time and virtual reality and create content for you guys, but also amazing because I'm doing it with assets that I just have loaded in here. That's the amazing thing about Flipside. Which brings me to my next point. The developers of Passepartout have been kind enough as to lend us the sets for the garage and the studio and the models of Jazza and Benjamin, as well as a few other props, which is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna have a lot of fun and I'm going to link also once it's done to the final video that I've made in here Go get Flipside and use it and have fun with it yourself. Go play Passbar 2 because it's an amazingly fun game Let's start off by exploring some characters now if you see me fiddling around with invisible menus That's what's happening. You see me like twisting in the air. I'm actually playing with some settings Boom. There we go. So I'm gonna shift for the first portion of this video into a first person view so you can see all the menus and all the stuff that I have control over. And then when we actually start recording and puppeteering and acting it out, we'll jump back in mixed reality. So this is my view. This is my first person view. Look at this glorious garage where we're going to create some magic. That looks like a really uncomfortable mattress. So this is what I look at when you see me playing around with little menus. I have this sort of dock that I can just sort of leave there. It follows me if I step back too far. Look at that, ooh, it's like a ghost. So it's always within reach and in here you have different sub menus so you can access your recordings You can access characters you can access again They're loading one by one but, but it will fill up and you'll have a huge amount that you can access and there's community ones That people submit themselves as well. There you go There's a funny little stick figure and you grab them and you pull the trigger and you become the character Look at this and you can make like fun little stories with all these different funky characters This is one of my favorites. I am a ninja Wah! Pretty cool, right? Which brings me to the custom tab where you can import your own characters like I've done here for French Jazza and there's one for Benjamin! Hey! But look at this, this is so cool. And if you make them custom, you can bring them in. But beyond that, a lot of these characters people have created using Adobe uh, something. I forget the name of it. I'll put it on the screen so that a more educated Google search later will inform you. But you can actually just use much easier processes to custom make your characters. Let's move on to playing around with some other things. So we have sets. Uh, as you can see, there are some default sets. Same sort of thing. Community submitted sets. Other sets that sort of come with the app that load as you go. And then you can bring in your custom sets. And as you can see, I have my garage and the studio. And we're going to start off our story today in the garage. And we're gonna just do a test recording just to get used to what we have access to. Let's bring in a few props So we do this by going to the set builder menu and we can just sort of grab and move the world around us in the set builder Because this is where we bring in our custom props and they've even added in a few extra goodies So we have a baguette. It's all about those baguettes, baby You can press the menu button and make them movable or react to gravity And I'm just gonna turn both of these off because these are just cosmetic and uh, to get rid of a prop you just throw it over your shoulder so now I have a baguette that is immovable and won't react to gravity there you go we've got a perfect stack of baguettes <laughs> let's get another couple of props I need a paint palette of course and then I need a brush we're recording we've got a countdown ah uh, yes uh, the rainbow of love huh what do you think of my artwork what how dare you leave my studio now I hate you you bastard 
saving that wonderful performance. So I have a little recording here. Let's pick a different character uh, and let's do someone different other than Benjamin and Jazza because we're going to use those later. Let's, let's use one of their... Oh look, we got a little skeleton. Let's go a goblin. He looks cool. Alrighty. Ha! Okay, so I'm going to create a new recording and I'm going to appear over here behind Jazza. And let's give this a go. You ready? What do you think of my artwork? It's terrible! What? How dare you! Leave my studio now! I hate you! It just shows the characters that I've recorded and they're just part of the scene. So now I'm actually going to try and film this. In the show tools system, you can pick cameras that are sort of in, that stay in place. People, place holders, lights and all that stuff. But at your hips, you have a couple of other tools. You have a camera and a puppet. And if you grab that little waist camera, you end up with the selfie stick. But well, it's not quite a selfie stick because it... Oh, wait, maybe it is. You can selfie! Oh my god, it's an actual selfie stick! <laughs> Let's <laughs> switch this around and I can use this as a handheld camera and record. So I guess let's just give this a go. The rainbow of love, huh? It's terrible. That's the idea. But I think now it's time to jump into mixed reality mode again and we'll just have a bit of fun and do some puppeteering and make our own little movie. Before I go recording all my stuff, I just want to show one more really nifty little trick uh, and I felt, felt like it's better to show off in mixed reality mode anyway. So I'll bring my character back and they have, if I look down at my waist and grab the puppet mode, I can hold myself if I hold the trigger button, look at this. I'm a giant and I'm controlling this character as a puppet. How funny is that? His arms move relative to my arms near my body. So if I bring them over like that, I can sort of do this and I can jump and down. So I thought it'd be fun for the rest of this video to show a compilation of the interesting process of recording and puppeteering and becoming these various characters. But in a way that hopefully doesn't give away the actual video that I'm going to produce out of this because I will make a standalone video. Once again, I'll link to that in the description so you can see how it all turned out after a little bit of editing and post-production and all that stuff and see how much fun we can have and how polished or silly we can make the final result. Oh, hey, how you doing? Welcome to my neck of the woods. Do you like my uh, humble abode? I like this. Okay, let's do this. He can be like, wine, huh? That's a sissy's drink. Do you like my boobies? I like my boobies. <laughs> Grow up. I am a Frenchman. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this. Okay. I love you, Don. Oh, I'm not a character. That just made me look like a silly billy. Much better, huh? <laughs> this is the best. Okay, all right. I'm gonna come in and be like, I love it. It is. Uh, That's just Jazz's voice. I love it. It speaks to my soul. I'm Italian for so. I love it. No. <laughs> what's 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 his voice? What's his voice? Um, Jazz is like. Ha, ha, ha. Benjamin should be like. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It speaks to my soul. I would like to buy it. I love it. Magnifique. I would like You to... like it? Oui. You love it? Oh, oui. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Benjamin. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you. It's yours. And then I gotta do the Benjamin dance. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Okay. That was our. That was our rehearsal. It's time for action. Look at this. They're like pushing the boundaries of reality. Ah, help! I am in the game and I'm stuck and I can't get out. Ah! <laughs> it's funny because I'm actually like it's it's just me in a green screen. But I'm a puppet. Ah! All right. You ready? And. Action. Have a wonderful life, sir. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a puppet. <laughs> I didn't even need to say anything witty to love this. Oh, bonjour, monsieur. What uh, do you think of my artwork, huh? I think wine is a drink for sissies. Have you got anything with whiskey in it? W but wine is a... Uh, is life. Wine is love. Eh? L wine is what makes the world go round. A boring world. Give me a call when your paintings have hair on their chest. Where are you? There you are. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? <gasps> a very beautiful man. Benjamin. I am inspired. You're welcome. 
Je suis Benjamin. So I, uh, I've actually been filming for hours in Flipside and had a lot of fun doing it. However, I don't want to give away much of the story or the ending or anything like that. So I just wanted to show you this second set. And my next task is going to involve furnishing the set with some props and then acting out the rest of the scenes. There's a whole bunch of props that, I mean, haven't had a chance to show you that just come with Flipside. Again, a whole bunch of characters that come with Flipside. This is just amazing. And this has just been so much fun to use. There have been a couple of kinks through working through it because it's still in pre-alpha slash beta phase but they've been making so much progress and developing it and they're listening to all of your feedback so if you have a vr headset oculus rift or htc5 go get flipside i'll put the link in the description it's free in both the oculus home store and in steam so go check it out and give them a rating and give them some love because these people are just working so hard to make this an amazing program that i've had so much fun with and i'm going to continue to use by the way do you like how i've dressed the set so far pretty sexy right <laughs> I want to, of course, thank Liv for making this mixed reality streaming and filming possible with the Liv client. You can check out the details of that on the website and the client itself is free. So if you have a green screen or a green cube or a green panorama or whatever, and in future, they're actually planning on hopefully investigating green screen less mixed reality. It's all just about making VR presentable and exciting to involve people in. So thank you to them for working with me. And last but not least, a massive thank you to the people who make Passport for lending us the assets. Look at this, we've got all the details, we've got our lovely props and paint and all this stuff, and they made it just possible for us to have a lot of fun with these characters, including me, French Jazza. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you want to see more of this content, leave a comment and give me some suggestions. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. And until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.